good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are, it's a good time to have devotion time with Miss T. Hooray! Yay! So this week, we're going to be reading from the book of Genesis. Fun fact, the book of Genesis is the first book in the Bible. And that book tells us so much about how it all began. Today, we're using the Jesus Storybook Bible. Every story whispers his name. It's written by Sally Lloyd-Jones and illustrated by Jago. And the beginning, a perfect home. The story of creation from Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. In the beginning, there was nothing, nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see, only emptiness and darkness and nothing but nothing. But God was there and God had a wonderful plan. I'll take this emptiness, God said, and I'll fill it up. Out of the darkness, I'm going to make light. And out of the nothing, I am going to make everything. Like a mummy bird flutters her wings over her eggs to help her babies hatch, God hovered over the deep, silent darkness. He was making life happen. God spoke, that's all. And whatever he said, it happened. God said, hello light, and light shone in the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello sea, hello sky, and a great space opened up wide and deep and high you're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello land, and there, splashing up through the oceans, came cliffs, mountains, sandy beaches. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello trees, God said, hello grass and flowers, and everything, everywhere burst into life. God made buds bud, shoots shoot, flowers flower. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello stars, God said. Hello sun, hello moon. And wheezing into the darkness came fiery globes, spinning around and around, whirling orange and purple and golden planets. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello birds, God said, and with a fluttering and flapping and chirping and singing, birds filled the sky. Hello fish, God said, and with a darting and dashing and wriggling and splashing, fish filled the sea. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello animals, and everyone came out to play. The earth was filled with noisy noises, growling and gobbling and snapping and snorting and happy scurfuffling. You're good, God said, and they were. God saw all that he had made and he loved them. And they were lovely because he loved them. But God saved the best for last. From the beginning, God had a shining dream in his heart. He would make people to share his forever happiness. They would be his children and the world would be their perfect home. So God breathed life into Adam and Eve. When they opened their eyes, the first thing they ever saw was God's face. And when God saw them, he was like a new dad. You look like me, he said. 
You're the most beautiful thing I've ever made. God loved them with all of his heart and they were lovely because he loved them. And Adam and Eve joined in the song of the stars and the streams and the wind and the trees, the wonderful song of love to the one who made them. Their hearts were filled with happiness and nothing ever made them sad or lonely or sick or afraid. God looked at everything he had made. Perfect, he said, and it was. But all the stars and the mountains and the oceans and galaxies and everything were nothing compared to how much God loved his children. He would move heaven and earth to be near them, always. Whatever happened, whatever it cost him, he would always love them. And so it was that wonderful love story began. Isn't that such a beautiful story? The story of how God made everything that ever was. Fun fact. The first man and woman that ever lived was Adam and Eve. And from them came all the people in the world. Isn't that amazing? God is amazing. And God loves us. He says, just like we read, God loves his children. That's you and me. God loves us so much and he will do everything, everything he can to always be with us. Today we read from the book of Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. Are you going to go to your Bible and read it today? I think you should and if you can't read just yet, ask your mom or dad or an adult near you to read you the stories straight from the Bible the best book of all. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that you made the skies and the seas, but most of all, we thank you that you made me. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotion time with Miss T. I'm happy that you're here today and I look forward to another time of devotion with you. God bless you. Bye-bye.